Let's look at a nootropic primarily involved in vasodilation. The brain and the eyes are where the smallest so-called microcapillaries are located. Arteriosclerosis is associated with ageing and whilst everyone is familiar with its cardiovascular issues, the brain is often not thought about in the same way. Yet platelet aggregation in the brain can quickly prevent or inhibit blood flow to the neurons with a consequent lack of energy. A key chemical that has proven itself to be beneficial for brain blood flow is vinpercetin. Vinpercetin is produced by slightly altering the vincaimin molecule extracted from the vinca minor plant, otherwise known as the periwinkle. Vinpercetin has been shown to be a cerebral metabolic enhancer and a selective cerebral vasodilator, enhancing oxygen and glucose uptake from blood by brain neurons and thereby increasing neuronal ATP bioenergy production, even under hypoxic conditions. Both vincaimin and vinpercetin have been widely researched and used clinically for over 30 years in disorders ranging from cerebral arteriosclerosis to Meniere's disease, senile dementias, diabetic retinopathy and tinnitus. However, research has gradually shown vinpercetin to be the superior vinca alkaloid because it has few, if any, side effects and all are minor. Plus, it has a greater range of clinical and metabolic benefits than vincaimin. Vinpercetin has been shown to reduce the cell death that normally occurs when a brain region is temporarily but severely deprived of blood flow. It is proven to be unique in that it is a selective cerebral vasodilator with a non-steel effect. In other words, it appears to only improve blood flow where it is necessary. Salty and co-workers reported their results using vinpercetin on 10 men having an average age of 49, all suffering from minor cerebrovascular disorders. They concluded that vinpercetin belongs to a rare class of drugs which exert a potent yet favourable effect on the cerebral circulation. In particular, they stated that vinpercetin strongly reduce cerebral vascular resistance, which is typically seen in cerebral vascular disease and ageing. Had no marked effect on systemic circulation, for whilst blood pressure and total vascular resistance is decreased very slightly under high doses of vinpercetin, far from increasing, it actually reduces the effort of the heart. Thus, its effects may be assumed to be favourable in cerebral alterations associated with heart disease and hypertension. Another study with 100 patients suffering from poor blood circulation to the eye, Kahn and Ola noted vinpercetin's inhibition of platelet aggregation. Some of the microvessels that feed neurons in the brain and retina are smaller in diameter than a single red blood cell so they can be easily clogged up by clumps of platelets, impairing local microcirculation. So, vinpercetin can inhibit unnecessary platelet aggregation, which may be triggered by a high-fat diet, magnesium deficiency and stress hormones, among other factors. Dosages are typically 5mg to 10mg, two or three times a day.